Hi, this is Avinash Pujari. Today we are going to cover how to monitor and tune the AI system. What is monitoring? So very simple definition for this one is it is the systematic process of collecting and analyzing and using information to track a program's progress towards reaching its objective and to guide decisions. So this is the very important step uh, before starting a troubleshooting of uh, any AI issue. First thing, uh, we need to monitor the uh, status of the AI and then we can decide our troubleshooting plan. In AI, to monitor the entire system command is Topaz. Topaz, it shows the complete system information. It monitors all the parameters like CPU, memory, input output devices, hot processes, paging space and the NFS related thing also. The Topaz command reports selected statistics about the activity on a local system. And for this command, boss.perp.tools and perpagent.tools file sets to be installed on a system. So these file sets, these file sets are required to use the Topaz command. Then there are other commands available related to the monitoring. Like uh, first command is the VM stack. By using the VM stack command, we can monitor the performance of a paging space. So paging space is required to improve the performance of our system. So by using this one. You can see the status of the paging space and the actual memory also. The next command is the IOSTAT. IOSTAT command we use uh, for the monitoring of the IO devices. So it includes the hard disk and CD-ROM. It shows the uh, complete statistics of these IO devices. Then LVM stat command is also available to monitor the LVM actually. Before firing this command, make sure that VG is ready to provide the statistics to the LVM. We need to enable it separately. Then, netstat. Yeah, so to monitor a network, netstat command is available. By using this one, we can see the MAC addresses, which ports are open, which are the listening ports. Complete info we get by using the netstat command. Then, uh, SAR command is also available, which is a system activity report. It shows the processor related uh, information in AI's operating system and then LPARSTAT hyphen I. So LPARSTAT it shows the complete statistics of a specific LPAR. By using this command, we'll come to know that AI is running on a standalone machine or on a LPAR. Okay. So let's do the practical of this command. Once we are done with the practical of the monitoring, then we'll see the tuning related stuff. So to do that, let's access the AI machine. So here we have a putty software with us. And uh, tell light local IP address 166. Great, right, so AIX version 7 root root. So we have AIX 7.2 installed on this Power 7 machine. Let me change the appearance of this. and then let's fire the topaz command topaz make sure it is in small letters because it is the unix operating system it is case sensitive great and you can see that topaz monitor for host ai7 in trouble two second it is monitoring the CPU utilization now, then network utilization, disk utilization, file system utilization, then at the back end, hot processes. So currently, Topaz is uh, consuming more uh, resources. That's why it is on top. Then events and queues and paging and memory information. You can see it over here. And NFS related information is also available. Okay. If you need more help, you can press H. So after once we are done with the monitoring, press Q. Then let's see VM start command. So VM start 2, 5. That means 2 second interval, 5 outputs. It will show the kernel thread, memory, page, false, and CPU statistics. Then IO start. IO start 2 second interval, 5 output. So here, we have drives and CD, so almost uh, six drives are there and one CD. So nothing is happening, that's why it is showing 0000. Okay, this is the test machine actually. 
So no read and write operations are going on on the machine. Then next command is part that is system activity report and again two and phi to second interval and phi output. LPAR stat hyphen I to get the complete LPAR information. So this is the machine running on a LPAR actually that's why you can see that partition number is 7. If the partition number is uh, 0 in that case we can say that it is the standalone machine okay but if it is not 0 then it is the LPAR actually. Great so complete info we get over here. Let's see the tuning. Why tuning is required? Now again simple definition for a tuning is it is a process in which one or more parameters of a device or a model are adjusted upwards or downwards to achieve an improved or specified result. So to get a good performance from the system, sometimes we need to tune the parameters. So in AIX, to tune the parameters, commands are available, but before firing these commands, make sure you have a proper email or a document available with you because uh, if you uh, change the wrong parameter, it could impact on the entire system. So there is a command available VMO to tune the paging space parameters. Then there is a command available IOO that is to tune input output device parameters. Then LVMO command is also available to tune the LVM parameters and NO to tune network parameters. So these are the common commands we use to tune the parameters in the AIX operating system. Let's do the practical of this one. VMO hyphen A more. So all these parameters can be tuned. Make sure uh, you have proper values with you before making changes in this. So next command is LVMO hyphen A. So here um, these are the tuning parameters available. O hyphen A it will show you the complete uh, LVM settings. Then uh, IOO hyphen A page more. These are the settings related to the IO devices. And uh, then NO. These are the settings for the network devices. You can change this one by using the same commands. Okay, I'll just show you the man pages of this one because everything is running fine over here. So you can see that manages the tuning parameter of a network. What do you want to do? What do you actually tune in this? You have to refer a document for this one. This is the man page of a LVMO command. Man IOO, man page of a input output pinnable parameters. Great, so relatively it's a very small topic, but very important. If you have any question, you can put it in a comment box. I'll get back to you on the same. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.